hello welcome to powerhouse investment today i'm doing day trading and basically i got a theorem basically called it the powerhouse theorem um uh, i'm gonna teach you guys how to day trade um on poloniex okay before i start day trading though this is the uh, first rule of thumb we're gonna look at the uh, thai food index to see what kind of market we in right now see what market we're in so let me pause the video and open up my Thai food index okay I got Thai food index up as you can see um, we just came off it looked like it went up the market um, everything was going well and that's where it's at right now on the graph sorry it's not a good graph my phone I don't really get a full view of the screen but all we need to look at it, that the index is in the green is at 0.37%, which is not that high. So basically, it's flat right now. The uh, cryptocurrency index, uh, and that's what the Thai food uh, gauges. What's important about this? Uh, I'm, make, I'm making this theorem why the index, Thai food index, is important because we didn't know what kind of market we in. Uh, the market would dictate what type of percentages you want to take on your stock. Like if it's in a uh, a bull market, a bull market where it's going up, um, where everything is green, like we just had like not too long ago, you see that arrow right there is going up. Uh, then you want to do like a higher percentage. You want to do anywhere from uh, anywhere from uh, four to five percent if it's uh, in a good market, but. If you in a uh, bear market and the market's going down, like right there, you see that graph right there. You got a big, you have a big long slope downwards, and the open market is hard to trade. Usually everything is negative, and you're gonna be uh, hard to get a good trade off. So what you want to do with that? You want to lower your percentage on your on your uh, stock on the cryptocurrency. You don't want to have like a, a four or five percent take profit for that day. Um, you want to lower your percentage, take profit to about, um, you want to lower it to about, um, 1% or 2% in a bear market when it's uh, going down, where especially like that. And also another type of market is, which is like today, it's like a flat market and a flat market. It's not the best market. You don't know what's going up or down. So we, right now we've got a straight line as of today. So you basically want to lower your percentages in a flat market. You want to do two to three percent uh, in a flat market on your uh, take home profit. Uh, and that's how we're going to be day trading. That's the importance of the Thai food index to day trading cryptocurrency. All right, now move on to pull on yes and start the day trading techniques. All right, here we go. This is SMR. I'm in Poloniex. Uh, this is um, down right now. So uh, this has all time low. Uh, but I already had bought some of this stock yesterday. And I bought it at uh, 0 0.09 by that 0 0.0160. And right now it's at 0 0.0157. So it went down. It went down probably right. 2% since I brought it. Uh, so, since it didn't do what I wanted to go up, and it's been almost a day or like it's been like maybe 12 hours since I posted the trade, I'm basically just going to cancel it and then I'm going to sell this. And this, I took a loss on this one, but it wasn't that big of a loss. Um, the thing on day trade, you basically want to win more than you lose, but then you also don't want to hold on nothing more than. Uh, 24 hours that's why, we, that's why we call it day trading because you want to get rid of it <laughs> all right if this thing ever cancel so the way you uh, had an open order so you want to go to open order and cancel the open order so you can free up that money and then free up the uh, xmr and then after that i will be able to uh, sell it all right it just happened the order cleared you see it's no longer an open order so you gotta go open orders and cancel and then you want to scroll up to sell. You want to change it from buy. And you want to switch it to sell. And then you click on. You just click on the uh, the number right there, the SMR number, and it automatically fills that part out. 
so you can do it again. Um, I'm just gonna knock hang with clear, but yeah, you can see it. You can pause it and see how I clicked on it and automatic for those numbers out. And a good thing about Polonia is you click on that and you just press sell and use your sell instantly. But I'm in my, my phone and I'm not in the best of areas. Um, so we see if it sells. I may have to pause it. Yeah, I pause it. All right, as you see, like the uh, XMR has sold, so I got my bitcoins back. Uh, you see, I didn't take that long to the cloud; no longer than a minute went by. But you, it's usually instantly on pulling it. That's why I like pulling it. Um, bit trash. It take forever to sell that thing on there because it's not that much people trading on it. You want to have a, a, a exchange that has a lot of value, so you can sell your uh, your trade fast. Just imagine like own a store and no one comes to buy anything so it's gonna be hard to sell where well, you go to a store where everybody's in everybody buying stuff your stuff gonna sell fast it's the same concept with the uh, exchange you won't go to exchange where a lot of people are buying and selling and Polyas is one of the best exchanges for cryptocurrency because a lot of people on there buying and selling and they don't got like a thousand different cryptocurrencies they have this list right here like maybe a run of 50 um I run a 50 different cryptocurrencies, and uh, there we have it. Uh, so now let, I'm about to move on to the next phase, picking, entering the market. How you know which uh, which crypto trade to start trading? Well, what we're going to do is, uh, for my research, uh, we want to try to get in, not when it's, the stock is at its peak or not when it's uh, too low, but we're going to get in. Right when it uh, went up and then came back down. So you want to get it right around where it's about to rise. So we're going to change. There's two ways you can do it. You can either change it to percentages. And then you look on um, percentages. Or you can just search by the names. Because the names don't really. The thing about percentages, the changes and percentages happen. And you try to click on it. It may change. And then you click on the wrong stock. So you can also look at it by a uh, coin. And just scroll and look for percentage. The percentage one interact will be uh, I'm I like the interact um, anywhere from negative one percent all the way up to two uh, percent. Those are my ranges for where I want to buy. I think those are the the ones that's on the verse horizon. So one looking at that range, and that, if we look at that right now, the range on percentages of stops that's in that 1% range on the day, the 24, 24 hour count, we can see it's right there. It's, it's between this uh, ETC and all the way down to this, this Ether ETH, as you can see on the screen. Um, I'm just going to mark it while clicking on it. As you see, See from the star to the star, those that is why it just changed. See how it just changed. Uh, that's why you really don't want to uh, click on it from the percentages. You basically look at it and then you want to click on your stop between that negative one percent and that two percent. So for this, uh, I'm looking at I could do side coin, side coin is real easy. I can remember out the number when I do the calculations and I want to do a big number in the millions because you don't have to times that by three percent uh and for this video demonstration it'd be easy for me to do one with a low number but you can choose any number uh, on the percentage of what it's worth <laughs> but far as like how much the value is because cycling right now is uh point zero zero three two six or whatever and you see the other one has different it worth different amounts but the main thing is, is that percentage range. So Sidecoin meets our percentage range between negative 1% and 2% to enter the market. So let's click on SC, Sidecoin. And I see Sidecoin almost at its high today, but it, it's in that percentage range. So we basically just gonna buy Let's see. Let me pause it. Uh, I gotta get my uh, make sure I have my stuff set up in here. 
Okay, I'm waiting for my Bitcoin to drop. Okay, that's what I wait for. Okay, where's the Bitcoin saying? Okay, there go my Bitcoin. See, so you have you have Bitcoin at point zero one one six. Um, so there you go. I'm ba you basically click on that and see how it automatically fills out. And they trade on this account. I'm, I'm only um, uh, cause I'm under like a hundred dollars or thousand dollars. I'm only gonna, I'm gonna trade two different currencies. So basically, wherever I have it here, I just divide it by two my, of my total Bitcoin account. Cause I want to be able to do two trades when I log on, and that's basically day trading. And you can check on it every hour, every two hours, every three hours, or every four hours. But you don't want to hold it longer than 24 hours. At 24 hours, just get rid of it. Even if you um, make it like a 1% gain or like a half percent gain. Or if you can go down just a little bit, just get rid of it after 24 hours. The goal is to get it to um, buy and sell within like a four-hour range. So, all right. So, I'm about to buy some SC. So, I'm about to change it to point. Zero eight. I want to give them all my Bitcoin. I just want to give them half. And then basically, I'm just going to press buy now. And it's buying the SC for me, the side coin. Now I'm about to pause it. Okay, there it goes. Let's see, I bought it. All right. Let's see how it went through. Go here, here. All right, see, pretty fast. Poloniex. Let's see. See, I bought it. See, I'm now I'm at half. So I got half my um, Bitcoin. I got point zero zero eight Bitcoins now, so I can buy one more. And I see the order is still going through. It looks like it still said open order. So I'm gonna pause it and let the order go through. Okay, I'm back. It finally went through. It took a minute. Uh, I did another trade while that was going on too. I saw you guys later. Uh, the total, the two I did for today. But let's get back to the SC, the side coin uh, trade. And I got it at a good price because it looked like it went up a point. Uh, I got it at uh, 0 .00327. And right now it's at 0 .00328. And uh, so I got it and it already went up. It looked like almost one percent already so this is how we calculate um i said we in the flat market right now on a typhoon index so basically we're gonna go to the calculator and we're gonna do two percent i just want a two percent gain and uh we're gonna get a calculator out and i'm gonna show you guys how you do two percent from point zero 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 three two seven how you do it when you got these decimals all over the place sorry let me um pause it that's I'm not gonna pause it. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it. And basically we're gonna go to um Google and search calculator. I'm gonna pause it. Alright, so I'm on my phone, you know how you got the search engine on my phone, the Google search, and I just typed in calculator right there. And you see the little speaking voice, you speak it and say calculator and calculator fuss and pops up. Alright, so Sidecoin it was point zero 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 three. It was like this point zero 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 and you had a you had a three two seven. Well when you do the percentage on calculator, you don't you don't really need all the decimal places, you just delete the decimal places. So we're gonna clear it and then you just do the um you just say like as it's a whole number, you do um thirty uh, 327 so uh, 327 and then we're gonna do 3% of that I mean we're gonna do 2% so we're gonna do that times 20 point zero two because that's our percentage we're gonna take on take on 2% and then we put equal so we need to go up like 6.5 four points so let's just round it off to seven since there is no half of points in the uh, stock on a cryptocurrency on Polonia, so it says we're gonna round it up. We can go at seven points. So then we take that number and we plus it to the um, three two seven, the price we bought it at, and then we put equal, and uh, that's the price we need to go to in order for us to make a two percent gain. So we're gonna round it off to um, thirty four. There is no half percentages in uh, Polonia. So now we go back to Polonia and we type that number in on the cell search the cell part. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna pause it again. All right, I'm back to Poloniex. Uh, so I'm gonna click on click on the um, my side coin under the sale function. Take it off of buy, put it on sale, and then we click on our total side coin, SC side coins, and then put sell. But we're gonna sell that uh, um, three two five. We're gonna sell it at um, the thirty. The 34, so we're gonna change that and gonna put um, three, three, four, and that's our um, that's what we need to go to to get a two percent gain. And then we put sell, and there you go, it has to so so now it's gonna set to automatically sell when it hits that price. And then that's pretty much it today, Trey. You, you um, buy it, and then you set a uh, sell order, and then you sit and you just let it go, and then you're pretty much done. And then you can sit on the computer right now and sit on it for an hour and watch it, or you can just set it, go do something else, and check it on it in an hour or two hours. Um, okay, this is basically what I do for day trading, and um, that's my theory, and that's my uh, that's that's the way I day trade. And see how the sell order is up, and that's it. That's all it is to it to uh, day trading on Polonia. Is that how you day trade the powerhouse way? All right, thanks for watching my video. See you guys on the next on the next episode. Oh, before I go, let me show you my um, balance where I'm at on the uh, Polonia. I'm at forty five dollars zero eight cents. And there go the SC I have bought right now holding and I bought the SCP. Like I said earlier in the video, that's the one I bought when I was waiting on Sitecoin to uh, buy. So I have those two and I have set them both at 2%. So that's all. That's all for the uh, day trading. All right. See you guys later. Bye.